of forensic experts investigate a 200-year-old mystery. Two skulls preserved in a museum. Evidence of a violent encounter with the last of the Red Indians. The Beothuk of Newfoundland. Legends say they were a race of giants, warriors who painted themselves red. Who were they? And why did they vanish? Can modern science help solve a 200-year-old mystery and explain the last days of a lost tribe? In 1827, native guides lead British explorer William Cormack deep into the interior of Newfoundland. Cormack hopes to become the first European to study the Beothuk. When Cormack went into the country, there still was not a lot known about uh, the Beothuk, and he certainly reckoned with hostile reception. There was all kinds of apocryphal stories and folklore about them being a race of giants. And there have been all kinds of evidence that, given the right conditions, they could be violent. So now, now. run into Beothic in the interior, and he was very disappointed that he did not do that. He was very surprised that there was a huge camp that was obviously very deserted and had not been recently used. This area, which he had been told was a village, was now a cemetery. And while he was searching around, he came to this absolutely extraordinary burial hut. that there was a pine coffin. Inside the coffin are the remains of a woman dressed in English clothes. Beside her, the remains of a man and an infant child. Who were they? Why was an English coffin inside a Beothuk burial hut? And it was one of his guides who told him that he knew who they were, and the story started eight years earlier, right on the spot. <laughs> 